Welcome to the Counselor new feature summary for December 2022. Let's begin with the first on the list. Counselor has a new feature called Restricted Compete Blocks. This is a unique tool that enables you to have blocks in your schedule and designate them for specific appointment types. In that way, you can have uh, essentially restrictions on them. So you could say if we have a block for VNGs, you could have it set so that only VNGs can be scheduled during that time. And you also can restrict the ability of, the, of that appointment type or appointment types to be scheduled outside of the block. So you could say, we only allow VNGs to be scheduled during the VNG block, that's it, whether we're talking about in-house scheduling or online scheduling. Right? There's quite a bit of flexibility with this tool uh, to really define how you want your schedule uh, to work, uh, both in-house as well as how it will appear to patients online. Uh, we did create a Manage Schedule Block tutorial, which is available, uh, so I encourage you to check that out to learn more. All right, the next section here is the professional report attachments. This is the ability to add documents uh, from patient docs. So what will happen here is I'll jump over to uh, patient um, visit screen. And let's say we want to add for this patient uh, some documents. Of course, as you know, you can browse and, and load from your computer. You can scan in or you can use the Snapshot app to take a picture and load them in. But the new option gives you the ability to grab from the patient docs. So I click there, it's gonna bring open the patient document section. Let's just say we want this letter of authorization. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. Maybe we wanna add a second doc. Let's go through that same process. This time it'll be image file. Okay, so we'll load that in. And just like that, we have now added both of those uh, um, images or, or, or attachments. And then if we look at the professional report, we will see what that looks like. So here we go. So here is our professional report. There is our first attachment and there is the image that we attached. So it makes it really easy to get the attachments added even if you already have them stored within the patient document section. All right, uh, there are a few new placeholders related specifically to QuickSyn. So talking about presentation method and SNR degree loss. Uh, there also has been a modification to dashboard security settings. So basically what happens is for these uh, dashboard widgets, invoices, line item summary, payment summary, unpaid, and claim summary, uh, you no longer need to have business uh, reporting access in order to see the full staff lift. So basically what happens there is from the dashboard, you have the ability uh, with those dashboard widgets to see full staff lists. Previously, there was restrictions around this, but now you do not have to have business reporting access for invoices in order to see all uh, providers here. Okay. All right. Uh, looking at business report generators, there's now a new option to select the default date range. Let's have a look at just a, a let's look at the device report generator. Any one of the report generators, if you scroll to the bottom, you will see there are options for current year, last year, next year, etc. So you can choose your preferred. Let's just say last year, right? And it will remember that. So now it reset this back to last year. It'll remember that going forward. Now you can always change this, but this is just a quick way. So very commonly you may say, hey, I just want this default to current month, right? Um, in general, this is also just a quick way of uh, flipping between different views, right? If you want to just check out last week, you can do so very, very easily, okay? Um, that is set on a... On a um, business report generator by business report writer generator basis, right? So if you set uh, last month for devices, you could have um, this year for invoices, right? So that it doesn't go across all the report generators. You can choose those for each one. All right, and then the last thing on the list here, audiometer administration. So uh, with this new feature, you can define audiometers on a clinic by clinic basis. So if we look at the audiometer administration screen here, we can see there are two devices in place. If we jump to the Simpson Clinic, there are three devices in place. So you can maintain your device lists, your audiometer device lists uh, per clinic. Uh, you know, your obviously your calibration dates and all of that is gonna be, in, gonna be individual. Now, as part of this transition from having sort of one master audiometer list to being able to split them up based on location, the counselor did automatically copy out all of the audiometers that you have that you had the master list to each clinic. And so what you may want to do, there's no rush on this, there's no, you don't have to do this, but you may want to pop into administration audiometers and just look at each clinic and make sure that the audiometers reflected there uh, are what you expect. And if you had previously 
um, modify the description of the audiometer to include the location, you can now take that out uh, because, once again, this will be lo uh, location specific. So it does allow you to clean up some of the names and get your specific list uh, per clinic. All right. So thank you very much for, uh, of course, all your feedback and ideas. We love to hear them. Keep them coming. Uh, and thank you for joining us for the new feature summary for December 2022.